Nick, thanks so much for joining us. Happy to do it. Thanks for making time. Uh, this is a first for Venture Fizz. Not only am I excited to talk to you about Form Labs, which is an anchor tech company, leader in 3D printing, we're going to have a product demo. <laughs> That's right. We're going to do it all. We're going to do it all. I have a I have our new flagship desktop 3D printer called the Form 4 next to me. Uh, we launched it last year. And during the conversation, I want to run you through a quick print. It's crazy fast. So we actually do that, finish the print. I'll show you the part. We can keep talking about Form Labs. Amazing. So while it's happening, we're going to talk. And this printer is actually going to create a product in real time. This is amazing. Yeah a usable product. All right, so we're going to do this product demo, which is exciting. And in the background there is the Form 4, which is one of the latest printers that was announced, I believe, last year. So let's just get into it. For sure. Yeah, so like you said, it's our flagship desktop printer. Uh, we launched it in April last year, and it has exploded in popularity, been wildly successful. One of the reasons is that it's crazy fast. Uh, and that's why we can actually demo it during this conversation. So I'm going to give you the very basics. We'll start a print, then we can get back to the conversation. Uh, but you only need a few things to start our printers. They're very easy to use. We're often known as the apple of 3D printing because the ecosystem is very simple. You just need three things. I'll pop open the printer. There's something called a resin tank. So this is actually full of liquid resin. This is going to get cured into a solid plastic part. All you need to do is drop your resin tank in, you clip it, you secure this mixer arm. That's part one of the three. The second thing we're gonna need is a build platform. This is where we're gonna build our part. It's gonna get attached to this and it's gonna pop out and we're able to see it. You just slide that in right here. Two thirds of the way there. And the last thing you need is a cartridge. So we, similar to 2D printers, we have our resins in cartridges. So you don't have to touch any resin or do anything. You just pop this open drop it in the back and now we're ready to go and you guys can't see it but the printer is actually along the way just telling us everything we need and making sure we're confirming it so we can say the build platform's clean the tank is ready and the printer is starting to heat up so it needs a few seconds to heat up from the ambient temperature to its printing temperature we can chat for a minute and then i'm going to kick off the print which i can queue up right now so easy as that. Very simple to get set up. That's so cool. And I've always seen the Formlabs printer. Like I'll go visit an office and I'll see it in the background. I'm like, oh, there's the Formlabs printer. But I've never actually seen it in action. So this is exciting. I uh, love it. That's great. All right. Well, let's talk about you next. So you're the chief revenue officer. So talk a little bit about your background before joining the company. Yeah, for sure. So I'm yeah the chief revenue officer at Formlabs. That means I lead our global sales and services teams. You can think of it as all the folks who are customer facing. Um, I've been here for about two years. Uh, before that, I was CRO at another Boston-based MIT-founded tech startup called EverQuote. Uh, I was in a insure tech business, a different business line, but similar kind of similar um, level of maturity and size of the company. Um, had a great run there. Before that, I was in management consulting at Bain. Before that, business school, and then I started my career as a mechanical engineer, where I was actually designing components for power production. So. I like to say, you know, Formlabs is kind of bringing all my skills of my career together. I kind of got back to my engineering roots, but in a commercial leadership role, uh, which has been a ton of fun. Well, the story of Formlabs is fascinating. And if anyone wants to check out the full background story, I did uh, do a podcast with uh, CEO and co-founder Max a while ago, which I'll include that in the show notes. Great. But um, let's talk about like the use cases, like what companies typically are, are buyers of your product. So I get this question a lot, and I don't know if my answer is, is satisfactory, but it's true. Uh, we One of our strengths and also challenges is that our customer race is incredibly diverse. And there's no single like customer type or application that is the huge part of our business. The reality is we have a lot of different important parts because the products are incredibly versatile. So we have, uh, we have we're really successful in dental. So you actually can print and use parts for, for people's teeth you know, with our 3D printers. You can also do medical devices like prosthetics. You can also build just normal tools for engineering in kind of a manufacturing environment. You can do consumer electronics and consumer products. You can do automotive aerospace, and you can also use it in education to teach people about 3D printing and added manufacturing. And every single one of those slices is honestly a meaningful part of our business. And we serve customers all the way from the, the tiniest company of two people in their garage all the way up to Fortune 50 companies around the world. It's really extraordinary how 
the industry has just continued to grow and develop. And I, I just think it's fascinating that the creation of this from you know version one or whatever the it, to where it is now, it's just absolutely fascinating. Yeah, it's a honestly the whole 3D printing industry is very fast moving. It's extremely competitive and there's a lot of innovation. Uh, and one of the reasons I joined Formlabs and it's really paid off has been just the we are at the forefront of that, you know, pushing the boundary faster and faster and faster. Uh, the Form 4 is a perfect example of that. And then uh, we also launched a larger format machine, the 4L last year. Both have been very successful just because they deliver so much more value to customers right off the bat. And, and that's what really drives the, the business forward. So just to you know, fast forward to today, like what's the latest with the company? You know, we, we saw, you know, see this beautiful product, but what else about the company that people should know about? Uh, we're growing very quickly. Uh, we're privately held, so we don't share the exact numbers, um, but we got to rapid growth, especially the launch of the Form 4 and 4L. Uh, we recently became profitable as a company, which we're very proud of, um, which is a huge accomplishment. Uh, and we're just focused on building a great team and a great culture. You know, we want to attract people that want to bring an amazing, you know, physical product like this to customers all around the world. We want people who are super focused on delivering great outcomes for customers and just have a lot of ambition and drive to build something truly special. Uh, we want to be the top player in 3D printing. We want to leave our mark on the world by building this business and helping lots of customers. And, uh, you know, one of our challenges is finding more people to, to live the mission with us. Well, let's talk about your team. So how's your team structured and like what positions are you hiring for? Uh, my team's very global, uh, like all the form labs, but maybe one of the most global for any team. Uh, so we have meaningful, uh, like or, like parts of our team all over the world, um, and it's in sales, customer service, and then the teams that support them, like revenue operations, or you can think of it as strategy and operations. Uh, a good cohort of them are here in Boston, our Somerville office. We have a nice office in Milwaukee, which is a sales and service oriented. In Europe, our headquarters is in Berlin. We have a big office in Budapest, which is a really important part of our talent uh, strategy. Uh, and then we also have people spread across APAC in offices in Singapore and Shenzhen. So uh, like I said, it's kind of similar to our customer base. One of our challenges is the complexity and the global nature of our business. But if that excites you, you know, there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of different things you can do. And one of the things we've done really well over time is allowing people to move within the company, whether it's between functions or locations or regions around the world. Um, so if you have that itch to do a lot of different things, uh, there's a lot of possibilities at Form Labs. Well, that's actually a perfect segue. So like, like what's the culture like at Form Labs? What's it like to work there? I'd say like the, the biggest defining factor is it's very innovative um, and we are trying to bring innovation to the market that delivers tons of value to customers. We just had our company town hall today. I can't share exactly what we covered because it's about upcoming products, but we, we did product demonstrations. We talked about the new technology we're about to bring to the market. Um, you know, Max is up there, our CEO and co-founder doing live demos, breaking things, fixing things, you know, doing it live. Um, and you know, the technology we're about to bring is, is a step change. You know, like we're not talking about incremental improvements, it's dramatic improvements and that's incredibly exciting. So, you know, part of the culture is, is moving fast because to be innovative and compete, you have to evolve quickly. Um, part of it is constantly learning because we're, the, the landscape is shifting and we're bringing out new technology. Um, and then the last part is like, you know, people have a drive to do something meaningful. You know, we want to not just develop great technology, we want to see it applied and we want to see customers really loving it and using it. So the build platform is coming down into the resin. The liquid resin is going to be cured from the underside into a physical part. And this mixer arm going back and forth is going to make sure we don't have any problems. So it's checking for any debris. It's also mixing the resin to make sure it's homogenous and we're going to get a beautiful part that looks the same front to back, side to side. And so we got our time estimate now. The fan's also kicking on, so I may need to speak up. This is a step change improvement. Our prior generation of printers was about three to five times slower. And so we'd be talking about more prints in like an hour or a number of hours. We had nothing that was less than 10 minutes. And so this allows us to uh, allow people to iterate on their product design cycle so much faster. They're producing end use parts. They can do a ton of throughput and really compete with traditional manufacturing methods better. Uh, and so that's why we're seeing so much adoption in the market.
If anyone is interested in joining the team at Forum Labs, you need to go to their company page on VentureFizz. Uh, so go to VentureFizz.com slash Forum Labs, and you'll see all the information there in terms of more about the company, the culture, the job openings, everything you need, uh, plus other great content profiling employees. So go to that company page. Uh, this is a, an amazing, amazing company. That sounds great. Let's wrap with our prints. So we're going to pop open the printer. Pull out our build platform and hold it up for you right there. We've got a Raspberry Pi case with two sides. We're going to use our build platform flex to pop it off. I'm going to try not to shoot it in my face. You can see it's coming right off the platform. We're going to just gently take those off. So we've got our parts. Then you would wash it in isopropyl alcohol, which we have here, fully automated. And then you'd cure it to get your final material properties. I already did that for you guys yesterday. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera. You might notice it has a name on here. I you see that. that. Yes, it says so Venture Fizz. Venture Fizz Raspberry Pi case customized to you guys with the power of 3D printing. That is amazing. Well, Nick, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through all the details on Form Labs and the great company, the product demo, which was a first, and obviously, uh, you know, everything about the culture. Happy to do it. Thanks so much for making the time.